what's up? It's Allie Hardesty, and today's video is going to be me sharing some stories about times that people saw the story times I posted about them. It's gonna get pretty interesting. A little bit nervous to make this video, not gonna lie, but this video is inspired by Jessie Smiles because she posted one like this today, and I thought it was awesome because honestly, so relatable. Like every story time YouTuber goes through this, doesn't matter how long ago the story was, it's probably going to get back to that person. That's why a lot of the time I'm not willing to share stories unless it is really far back in the past. I either do not have any contact with a person, I'll never see them again, or the bridge is completely burned, like hella time has passed and it's just like done and over with. They'll probably still see the story, but that way it just makes it a little bit less likely to cause any drama, which that can still happen, definitely. And it's one thing if your subscribers are attacking that person because you made it obvious who they were or you said their real name, but it's a completely other thing when you're sharing an experience that happened to you and shaped you as a person and you're being honest and someone happens to find the person or the person exposes themselves because they want to like make it publicly known that you made a video about them and they're not happy about it, then that's I really don't see the problem with that. It still makes me feel guilty when people do that because it freaks me out and I'm like, oh my God. And I have actually deleted videos before because of this, which I'll get into. So I've definitely had my fair share of experiences with people getting mad at me for telling stories. Not to mention, I've had a ton of things happen within the past year. Like I said, I don't usually tell recent story times. Might tell these a few years from now though. Or people have been like, please don't make a story time. Please don't make a story time. Like actually begging me because they did something terrible or like a huge thing happened that was so story time worthy that I didn't tell because they begged me not to and I'm not here to expose people I'm really not telling these stories because I want to cause misfortune in other people's lives it's honestly to entertain and to share my experiences and help people learn from my mistakes so that's why I would like to share recent things in the future but I'm definitely not trying to expose people and have people find out who they really are or hurt those people that the story times were about even if those people hurt me so I really have never done this for like ill will or ill intentions to try to out the person at all. It's just because I love to tell stories and I have a lot of crazy things that I've been through in my life. So the first time I was ever confronted for a story time was the first story time I ever put up on my channel. It's called How I Got Cheated On Story Time. And that's actually the second time I ever uploaded that. The first time I uploaded it, it started to go lightweight viral. Like, at least for me, I had no subscribers. I just made a channel and it probably had like a few thousand views and I ended up taking it down because the guy that the story time was about, his mom texted me this huge long message. It was such a long message that I had to go into like a separate message that you would open on an iPhone, basically telling me that I needed to take it down because he learned his lesson for cheating on me and blah, blah, blah. I don't even know how she saw the video. To this day, I still have no idea. She claims that someone told her about it but then she couldn't tell me who it was, so I kind of think that her son, the cheater, just told his mom, and then his mom just like went off on me about it. She was even threatening to get my parents involved, which is kind of ridiculous because like we're adults. I was 19 at the time, and also my parents weren't gonna care. Like obviously I reposted the video and they've definitely seen it. I was not very happy that she came at me like that because it's like you should probably be teaching your son not to cheat on his girlfriends, but I mean, I ended up deleting it because the guy asked me to, and I was like, it's really not worth it. I don't to deal with this stuff and then I was super mad I deleted it I was mad at myself because I was like why did I stand my ground like this guy did terrible things to me and I found out he cheated on me more than I knew about when I made that video so I ended up reposting it because I was like I'm not gonna let this guy control my life like we broke up it's an experience I went through I had no followers at the time either so I really didn't see why it mattered I didn't use his real name so I reposted it and from that day forward I vowed that I would never delete a video ever again under any circumstances like if I was going to film it and upload it it was going to stay there or any video for that matter that's why I don't go back and delete all my old cringy ones I just keep them up there for everyone to see so now we're gonna get into all the other people who saw their story times and what they thought about them the next experience I really had with this sort of thing because we're going to go in chronological order was a story time I did I really don't know if I should be saying the names or not I don't know if I'm gonna be specific it was a story time about an event I had okay it's called girl tried to fight me in class. It was an event that took place in high school where, you know, if you've seen the story time, then you know what went down. The girl who tried to fight my best friend and I in class from that story time ended up adding me on Twitter. Someone was tweeting me about the video and they were saying that like the character, the fake name seemed like a really mean girl. And then the person in real life, the girl who saw the video apparently added one of my subscribers who was saying that and she was like, I'm blah, 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 like insert the fake name here. And then she DM'd me on Twitter, this whole long thing, basically threatening me slash blackmailing me, telling me that if I didn't delete the video, she was gonna do something to try to like scare me into deleting it and all this stuff. And honestly, 
at that time, because my channel was so new, I think that if she would have been nice, I would have taken it down still, regardless of what I just said about the last video, because that was like an ex situation. Probably would have taken it down if she would have been a little bit nicer and showed me that maybe she has grown up since high school because I hadn't seen this girl in literal years. She was kind of threatening slash implying she was gonna jump me if I ever came to Brentwood which is like where I'm from and where the story took place and stuff. So I was just not having it. I was like, I can't deal with this. Like, I really can't. This girl was so mean to me in high school. I'm not dealing with this five years later. I didn't even say her real name. Don't even know how she saw the video. Like I said, my channel was still relatively small. So I ended up messaging her back, telling her that wasn't going to happen. And that's pretty much it. I was as nice as I could have been. I was just like, you're not going to get what you want this time. Sorry, this isn't high school. You don't own some hierarchy and popularity. Like, I don't even live in the same town as you. Get over it. And moved on with my life. So after that, this actually went down probably maybe six-ish months ago. More recently-ish because it got brought back up again. There is this girl who messaged me on Twitter, right? Super random out of nowhere. And she was like, hey, can you please delete the video you made about my best friend? The story time about my best friend. And I was like, who's your best friend? Like some random girl I had never met before on her Twitter. It said that she was going to Tana's meet and greet in like Chicago. So I knew she lived super far. I was like, who are you? Like, who even are you? I've never made a story time about anyone who lives in the Midwest area at all. So she told me who her best friend was, who was one of my ex-boyfriends. And I was basically like, all right, if you guys are best friends, uh, how come I've never heard of you? Like, not to be rude and stuff. And then she went off on me and she basically said that she found his social media and they became friends that way and blah, blah, blah. And that I needed to delete the video because it was messed up and this and that. And I was like, look, I don't delete videos. I hope you understand. I'm really sorry. I just don't do that because that was a true experience and it's already been up on my channel for like a year now. She started going off on me, calling me pretty much every name in the book, calling Angie, the other woman, ugly and like all this stuff. And she tried to say that I was lying in the, not lying, but that we were dramatizing it in the video and this and that. But if you see in the second video, we literally called him on speaker and he admitted to everything. So we obviously weren't making it up or embellishing it at all. If anything, we actually left things out that make him look worse because you know, out of a little bit of respect, we did that even though we didn't use his real name at all. So I told her that and then she was just like, I'm gonna ruin you and all this stuff. I don't know exactly what she said, but was pretty much threatening me and saying that I was just like a terrible person and all this stuff. And I was honestly like, you don't even know me. You've never met me in person. You haven't even met him in person. Like, you guys are online friends, which is cool, but, like, you don't know me. I'm the one who actually dated him. Like, I would know, you know? So that was pretty much it. I blocked her. She ended up contacting me on other social medias that I blocked her on as well because I posted something else on Snapchat, and then she was just, like, going off on there. And I honestly found it to be really funny, but at the same time, I was a little bit, like... Dude, why does this happen? Like, why do people get mad? That story time wasn't even about her. It was about my ex, who she's, you know, she's friends with. Like, I totally get you can be internet friends with someone, but she's never met him. She's never dated him. Like, she doesn't, she doesn't know. Like, that was a real thing, you know? So a few months go by. I believe this was after I got back from LA with a bunch of YouTubers. And she reaches out to me again, this time on Instagram. And she apologizes. And she basically said that she wanted to start a YouTube channel. And she didn't want to have any bad blood with me or other YouTubers and this and that. Oh, she also told me. I wasn't anything until I had 100,000 subscribers. Guess what? I have over 100,000 subscribers now. I think at the time I had like 70K, but she told me that even though she didn't even have a channel, which I thought was like really messed up. So when I came back um, from hanging out with all these YouTubers that she obviously was subscribed to, she wanted to make sure we were cool and this and that, which I totally get. But at the same time, I was like, really dude? But um, she did give me a really genuine apology. Like, nonetheless and I apologized back and I was like I'm sorry if I came off as super rude I just didn't want to be attacked like that out of nowhere like you don't know me like that I don't know you like that etc and the video is just super old and it's in the past and stuff and then so she was like honestly I didn't know that he did this this and this like I asked him about it and then he said that he did and those things weren't in the video and I was like yeah you know it's just stuff that happened in real life and we became really, really cool. Like, we talked it out. And she's actually an amazing person. Like, I really like her. And I would link her channel below. But I know some people would probably leave her hate just because of everything else I just said. But seriously, we're cool. She was just defending her friend. Like, you have to understand that. And I think a lot of people want to assume that story times are fake if they're friends with the person that a story time is about. Everyone makes mistakes. Like, I'm sure if there were people out there I had done wrong and they had a YouTube channel, they might make a story time about me. Like, I don't really know. I don't want to think that. But sometimes you may impact people more than you understand. And if they end up being a YouTuber who does story times, they might make one about you. So, 
yeah, that's pretty much what happened with that girl. Um, seriously though, I mean it. She's a really dope person. I don't mean any hate towards her. I know she's probably gonna watch this What's Up Girl. I'll probably actually send this to her. Yeah, it's kind of funny. That's like how we became friends and met and stuff. So after this, I had another experience kind of recently. It was actually not even a story time video. It's a video called The Truth About Raving. And a lot of people thought it was great even if they did drugs at raves or they attended raves frequently or if they didn't go to raves at all, they could agree with what I said and understand the bigger message behind it. But some people did choose to get offended and I really don't understand that. Maybe they didn't watch it all the way through because I did explain everything pretty full circle if you actually listen to me. Like, I wasn't judging anyone. I wasn't stereotyping anything. I was just saying my experience with all of that and how to be safe and aware of your surroundings pretty much and just still have a good time. So rewatch the video if you didn't get that because that's literally what I was saying and I kind of clarified in my part two video on that. Anyways, a girl that I mentioned in the video, I didn't even give her a fake name or anything because it wasn't like a story time video. I mentioned that she had basically unfollowed me around the time that I started posting about raving to my Instagram. She coincidentally called me the day after posting that video, right? After we hadn't been in contact for like months. So she hits me up. I'm assuming that she saw the video and that she's going to give me an apology like she felt bad or something because I knew she still watched my videos or at least I thought she did so finally I'm like hey is this about the video like did you see it or and she had no idea what I was talking about I guess it was pure coincidence that she chose to call me on that day she told me that she just wanted to apologize for being so rude to me and unfollowing me and that she was just going through her own stuff and blah 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 and I was like all right, cool. In that case, you should watch the video because I mentioned you in it without a fake name. I just like mentioned that you unfollowed me and even she probably wouldn't have known that if I hadn't told her just then on the phone. So I told her to watch the video because I genuinely thought that she would agree with what I was saying and think it was really cool because we had had conversations like that in the past of like what I said in that video. So she's like, okay, I will. She watches it. I get a text from her, the super long message. Basically, she's going off about what I said and that it wasn't true. She didn't agree with it, this and that. I was really shocked because I thought that she would have an open mind enough to like understand what I was saying and I didn't understand why she was getting offended so I tried to reason with her I wrote her back saying this this and this I didn't call anyone out I wasn't saying that she just wasn't really having it I don't even think she responded after that and then a couple weeks later she tried to buy rave tickets for me that I was selling and uh, proceeded to talk crap about me after that to our mutual friend I think she's over it now like I thought she was a really cool girl and I still do so like I hope she's not mad about that. I don't know. I'm really nervous to post this video because I'm mentioning so many things that have like already been brought to light in the past. Like in my personal life, just people getting mad about my videos. But I really don't think anyone should be offended about a video like that because it really had nothing to do with her. I just briefly mentioned that a girl unfollowed me in the video and then gave my opinion and shared my experiences with raving as a whole. So that one really got to me. I think primarily because she was someone I did consider myself to be actual friends with. And because of the fact that it kind of backed up how I was already feeling when I made that video. Another time that I was confronted for making a story time about someone, I wasn't really directly confronted, but uh, the girl messaged me. I don't even know if I want to say this because like I've never talked about this, but it was a story time about the girl that bullied me in high school. Apparently she saw my video. She found my channel or whatever. I think because we started following each other on something. And so she like stalked my social media and she came across the video. She obviously knew it was about her when she saw the title and like watched it and stuff because then she started tweeting things that were like basically said in the video, like laughing about it, kind of joking, kind of still being mean. Like she was in high school to me and I just acted like I didn't see them. And then funny enough, she ended up direct messaging me and she was like, Hey girl, I think it's really cool that you're doing social media now actually being pretty nice but I still didn't trust it just because I've had so many fake experiences and like interactions with her since all the stuff went down in high school I just do not trust it I didn't message her back and she was like I was wondering maybe you could help me start a channel or give me some tips or something and I was like oh my gosh she's gonna make a YouTube channel so far I don't think she has but um, that's just what she said to me and I just like didn't open it or didn't respond or whatever because I really did not want to get sucked into that and her try to like I don't know, dude. I don't know. I don't trust people. <laughs> people I've had experiences with like that in the past, especially if they found a video and they clearly like, weren't really happy about it. But in that video, I even said towards the end, I don't wish any ill will for this person, blah, blah, blah. This happened such a long time ago. So I think she saw that and I think she probably respected that. If you notice in all my videos, there's a reason why people do not get attacked because I'm very, very vague about who the person is. You know, if they see it, that's on them. If they choose to expose themselves, that's on them. But I don't try to make it obvious. But let this serve as a lesson that you probably just shouldn't put a YouTuber through these kind of things where we want to make videos. And I still do try to be respectful. There's still a ton of things I've never talked about on my channel and might never, no matter what. Or I might just wait to like talk about them until it's more blown over. And those people still might get mad, but... 
it is what it is. So if you guys like this video, if you want more mini stories or full length story times, be sure to let me know by giving this one a big thumbs up. Leave a comment below letting me know what you thought about these interactions or your thoughts on story times as a whole. And just, I guess, exposing other people because I don't really think that's the same thing as sharing an experience in something that you went through. Subscribe to my channel if you are new here. Turn on post notifications by hitting that bell button right next to the subscription box. Follow my social media and I will see you guys in the next video. Later alligators. Bye.